Hello, this is Emma. I hope you're doing well. This video is a makeup application. I've done a couple of these before and I have to say that not much has changed since the last one. I'm not someone who spends a huge amount of time and effort on trying out different makeup and updating my makeup collection. So this video is mostly for the sounds and the relaxation and just hanging out together. Okay? We're also in a different setting, so we're in my office at the moment. I've been filming quite a few videos in here lately just because it's a little bit quieter outside. Apart from the occasional car and dog barking and that kind of thing. A few people sound. But it's nice to change out now and again, isn't it? So when we're in the tingle shed, it's super, super quiet because it's soundproofed and you can just hear everything that the microphone hears, so everything is super crisp and amplified. So here's a bit more natural, everyday sound. You may be able to hear the birds in the background, perhaps. We shall see. Okay. So this is where I do my makeup anyway. And I have all my things in front of me. There are a couple of new things. Not much. The nail polish I'm wearing right now, this one, this is Sienna Byron Bay in the colour Promise and I bought this in Australia on the Gold Coast from a health food shop. And the person who makes these nail polishes is local. Sienna Byron Bay dot com made in Australia. So In the hand sanitizer video, there was someone asking about the nail polish, so here it is. And it has a wooden top, so glass and wood. So, I'm going to move my hair away from my face. I usually do something like this. But I shall try and do it. So that leaves enough face showing and a little bit of neck so we can continue the foundation. 
down here. So today I have on some serum, uh, but not too much moisturizer. So I'm going to pop some of this on. I use um, the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus eight day and it's a matte uh, moisturizer so it's good for underneath makeup and it's a surface As you can see, I have my mirror just here. Any bit to the neck. Like so. Put that to one side. Okay, so I'm moisturized, I'm ready to go. And this, for me, will just be the primer today. So the next thing, and this is a new item. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And the label has come off. one I have is number one fair I love the sound of this bottle and the sound of the lid so I'm very lucky that I get to apply my makeup whenever I do in a nice quiet place, just me on my own. So I do try and make it a sort of mindful experience and a time to look at myself and breathe, process things, think about stuff. have a minute to myself but not everyone can do that though so it's all very well saying use your makeup time as your pampering time and time to yourself but not everyone can so The reason why I mention it now is because there might be another time in your day when you're doing something that you would regularly normally do, like cleaning your teeth, making a cup of tea or pouring a glass of water. Any regular activity that you can use to become more present and more mindful a really good thing. Focus on the sound and the smell and the textures of everything that you do and do it slowly. Just focus and be present. The more you can do that, the better, the calmer you will be. 
So I've painted this all over my face. And this is like a um, cream highlighter in a way. Put some on my cheek, on my chin, down my nose. Like this. And it's a little bit too light for me, but this is going underneath the foundation. So, you'll see. I now have the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige. And I'm going to just dot a tiny little bit under my eyes there. Only tiny dots. And then once that's done, I have here a beauty blender. It's quite big because I have already soaked it in water. And this one, I haven't used this before. It's new and it's by So Eco the face of responsible beauty. Now so eco have sent me a few things. I had this beauty blender and a few brushes and a biodegradable hairbrush. They sent those a few months ago. They sent me a couple of things before and the ladies in the office that work there, they watch ASMR videos, so every now and then they'll send me a few little bits to um, perhaps pop in a video. So it's not sponsored, but it was gifted to me, I guess. And um, because it's so eco, it's my bag, as we say. So, it's a nice shape. It doesn't have the flat surface like the Real Techniques ones do. Ones do. But, um, I quite like the point on it. I can grab it with this bottom end here and I've got some control there. So I'm just going to, in the forehead, dab it on like this. And it gives my skin a real glow. It's not necessary to pop it all over the face. But especially when I'm filming, it really works for me because it complements my foundation really well. brightens it up. I guess if you wanted you could just pop it around here, up there, here and just leave it in that area, but I just spread it everywhere. It shows through my foundation a little and just reflects the studio lights nicely. Okay. Lovely. For my foundation, Still using the same one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. 
And this is kind of why I have a few Charlotte Tilbury things now because when I go to get another foundation I end up getting something else and I feel like then I'm updating my collection because <laughs> I don't uh, wander around shops very much, if at all. So the one I use is Five medium. Now in the winter, this is a little bit dark for me, but I found with using the um, full oilless filter underneath, then it just brightens it up and lightens it for me. In the summer, it won't be needed that much. So. squeeze a bit onto my back of my hand like so I take the beauty blender and dot it forehead cheekbones and chin nose just to distribute it where it's going to end up and then start to blend the corner there, underneath the eye to blend that, go over the cheek again, and just press it around the face. go for a lighter foundation um, and I might try one in the future but especially for filming this seems to be the right colour and to be honest the only time I really apply thicker foundation like this one is when I'm filming anyway Bring it into the ear a little, around there, and around the jawline. Give it one last blend around the face, on the eyelids if you like. I do have somewhere an eyelid makeup primer, but I stopped using it. So bring it round the chin on the jawline and press it round like so. If there's any more on your hand? Bring it down And pull it down the neck there. There we go. Okay. So it's worth spending a little bit of time doing the foundation and 
making it nice and smooth. I'm really impressed with this blender. It's a nice material. It's very smooth and soft. It's a nice size to really get in there, but with the point I can do the corners and make sure that nothing is missed out there. So I quite like it. So I have my eyebrows microbladed with shading over here and I have done that for years. So that's why they kind of look done to start with. But I still fill them in a little anyway. And I always end up getting a little bit of foundation on the arches there. Okay, next I'm going to contour a little, don't go crazy and I'm not very precise, just uh, something simple and I use the Too Faced milk chocolate, the lighter one. And I have a, a fan brush here, which is quite used. I should give this a clean soon. And um, just use the top of the fan there to go around my hairline. It isn't a very dark colour, it's quite light. But it's enough for a tiny bit of shading. I'm sure there are better ways to contour than this, but I find that if I just have a little bit of a dark area around the top, it highlights the front and just gives my face a little bit of definition. That's all. I have uh, another brush here, which is A flat kind of a brush there. and I use that to go down the line the cheek there underneath just lightly and use the rest around the top again I used to think that it was a good idea to add contour here, but not for me. So I just stick to what works. And then I have this little brush here that I like to use for blending. It's a flat brush. All my brushes obviously are cruelty free, they're all synthetic. And try to get the wooden handles as much as I can and as I said I'm not someone who buys a lot of makeup things so I just wash them and use them for years and years and years so I'll blend up this line here up to the cheek like so and then same with the top just give it a blend. And then just get my blender again and smudge the line over the top there. There we are. So there's just a tiny bit of definition around the top there. Just a little. Some 
blusher. Now, sometimes I wait to add the blusher near the end, but I'll do it now. So I have a slanted brush here. I have a set of brushes by Spectrum and these were given to me um, as part of a gift bag after a, um, the Blogosphere Awards, which I didn't win an award, <laughs> but I'd done an interview for them and then they invited me to their awards afterwards and it was really good. It was a couple of years ago now. It's the only red carpet I've ever done. Probably the only one I ever will. It was really fun. And the gift bag had a packet of um, Spectrum brushes in, which is really nice. So, and again, these are synthetic. Their whole line is synthetic. So I just go like this. Over the top. Give yourself a smile. And did you know that when you smile to yourself in the mirror, you trigger brain, happy brain chemicals and that make you smile. So the more you smile, the more you want to smile and the happier you will be. So just the act of moving your face like this, even if you don't feel like smiling but you want to feel happier, just do this. And then you'll send messages to your brain that you're happy and you'll feel happier. And then if you do it to yourself in the mirror, you see someone smiling, then you feel doubly happy. Okay. Top tip. So there we go. This is the um, Charlotte Tilbury again, surprise, surprise. Um, cheek to chic, first love. I did used to have a darker one than this, but it wasn't vegan, and this one is. So I just apply a bit more, because it's lighter. There we are. And I blend that again. There we are. So, now what we need to do is eyebrows, some um, eyeshadow, nearly forgot the word, and mascara, a little bit of liner, and some lips, and then we're done. So for the um, eyebrows, I have one of these um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel Brow Powder Duo and it's the one that's recommended for red hair tones so it has kind of a, a lighty beige and a darker one So I take my slanted uh, eyebrow brush here, which again needs a little clean. So perhaps that's a project for me this weekend, to clean brushes. And then I usually pop it in the lighter side to start with. Go over the arch at the top there. You can see, I don't know if I come over the arch. So, as you can see, my um, shape is already. it in almost and topping it up got 
some microblading at the top so I'll get my brush on this slanted side and do this like so bring the hair down this there and just go across the line to see it like that so I'm just going across the line at the top like that that's about it and I'll take um, an eyebrow brush, the one of these real techniques, the Lash Brow Groomer. I like it because it has a metal comb on the other side. So comb up. There. Take any excess off the top there and just draw. And the same for the other side. So I'll use this little mirror so I can show you, hopefully, the camera focuses properly. It doesn't always if I go too close. There. So, just do the art. these hairs here a little. I try not to get too carried away because um, they can end up too dark. Honestly, um, the having my eyebrows semi-permanent makeup was one of the best things I did because they were so thin before and I didn't actually think about it too much but once I'd had them done I realised that it changed my whole face and also because when I was younger I had Bell's palsy when I was a child and that's when half of your face is paralysed and it never came back fully uh, symmetrical and I know most people's faces aren't exactly symmetrical anyway but it really um, well my face is, is um, really not symmetrical at all but um, and it's because of that I smile bigger on one side than the other and talk with a bit of a slant and I had one eyebrow that was lower than the other as well so that really helped to even them out and it just made me feel so much better. It gave me more confidence. So, if you're thinking of having it done and you're not sure, then I would just go for it. Have them drawn on first and then maybe get used to them. And then pick the shape that you like. And then once you're ready, just get them done. Okay, so next is eyeshadow. 
So for my palette, I'm using still a very old one and it's cruelty free but it's not vegan so I'm not going to show it. Um, I've been researching vegan eyeshadow palettes and I think about two years ago one to two years ago, there weren't that many available, but suddenly, all of a sudden, there are loads of them. So I have my eye on a few, and I'm going to um, test them out for a video. It's on my to-do list, so I'll be doing that. And I have another idea for um, the makeup video, which is slowly moving up the list as well. So I'm just checking that this camera. So, I'm just going to apply a light colour all over the lid, just here, and that just evens out the colour of the lid there. It's like a um, creamy yellowy green colour and it's really good for a base. It's naughty focus, there we go. I think because the light is dim. this palette now for years and years. I just prefer to use things until they're all gone. Um, and this one just isn't going. of birds singing outside now, it's really nice. Just listen to those. There we are. There's another colour which is like a caramel, so I'm going to pop that just over here. And I have a really nice brush that came in the Spectrum set for this. It's just a nice rounded top. So I tend to just Shadow in the video. There are usually lots 
there's a mouth movement in there somewhere like that. So that's all over the eyelid and because I have hooded eyes, can you see? And then I just take the brush and blend it down again. So I can afford to do this because, as I said, my um, eyelids are hooded, so it doesn't matter if it goes almost up to the arch. And then I just add a little bit more. So if I wanted to be really super fancy, I could add some dark into the corner here, like that. So I would just get my slanted eyeshadow brush here, pop it into a darker shade, and just fan it around the corner. Focus for me? Are you going to focus? Good. Thank you very much. I can hear woodpeckers in the back, I think. So I just take my lighter brown that I used before and blend it in. So, I would probably add a little bit more dark there in the corners, just to um, make it a bit more dramatic, but no need for that today. Just going to keep it uh, fairly sweet. Um, I do have a few, a couple of palettes from Sleek Cosmetics that are vegan and they have all different colours in them, uh, but I gave those to Mia. I think Barbara's eyeshadow is in one of those. Um, and then I have another quite a soft slanted brush here and I take a lighter, like a champagne colour that has a little bit of reflection in it, like a, a glittery shiny one. And it's very light but just adds some shine and reflection over the main part of the eyelid so I only, I don't pop it up, just on the eyelid here, just so. Like this, so that when I close my eyes there's a little amount of reflection and shine there. Just makes the eyelids a little bigger. So that's the eyeshadow. This is a 
a really old one and uh, it's just not going so it's another one that uh, I've used for a long time and it's the Kat Von D one it's the one in um, Mad Max Brown if they still do it I know that uh, the company I think has changed hands now so I don't know if the products will all be the same Lashes. I'm now using Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte because I don't know if you uh, saw a video a while ago. I unboxed um, a box of makeup from Tarte because they sent uh, me and a few other ASMR artists some things. Not that I get sent a lot of things. <laughs> Not really. Send me a box and then so eco as well. That's all I've had really. Um, but I just liked this one. I was using um, the uh, what are they called? The Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex mascara. Um, but I actually prefer this one now because the wand is smaller and it really does make my eyelashes will look a bit longer as well. So I have fairly long eyelashes naturally. Especially at certain times of the month before they grow out grow out again. I have um, a few days where they're super long. So I'm just going to use this mirror close up. need to you. There we are, that focused very quickly. There we go. a little bit neater than this, so apologies. I think because I'm trying to do it around the microphone and the, in front of the camera. There we go. It's not too bad. I just 
a bit of mascara makes hmm? okay so I have a few different lipsticks but I always have the same base and surprise surprise Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk I shall be using this forever I think it's a perfect colour for me such a nice colour just on its own. There is a lipstick to match but I don't use it because it's not vegan. Um, but there is this one that's very similar and it's from Marks and Spencers and it's called Buccal. So that could go over the top. It's a nice colour. I sometimes put that on or another one I have which I I do really like it, but it's more for the summer um, and sometimes it just doesn't look right unless I've got other makeup on and it's um, called Kidman's Kiss and it's a Charlotte again I'll show it to you, it's like a sort of a pinky corally colour so it looks nice when I've got makeup on but if I'm not wearing any of my skin's quite pale it really looks too orangey and um, uh, it just doesn't look right and another one which I quite like though it's not so good for filming and unfortunately I bent it it's um, one from the Tarte box and it's called Treat and it has a lipstick on one end and um, a gloss on the other. The glo gloss is super nice. If I can open it. It's just um, a peach gloss or a brownie peach gloss. The lipstick is lovely. And it sounds good. Ok, 
Okay, so that's the makeup more or less done now. There is one more thing that I like to add, especially before filming, and it's like a um, highlighter and uh, shine powder. Just makes the skin glow a little bit. Um, I'm almost embarrassed to show it because it's stupidly expensive and I'm uh, positive that there'll be other things that you can get that do the same thing. But um, it's really, really good. I ended up getting this because someone recommended it to me and um, I was just feeling excited and uh, thought that it was a good idea. <laughs> but I have to be honest and say that it is really, really good and it's, um, it's helped with my filming because um, with using this underneath it makes my skin glow and using this on the top just gives me um, a nice shine where I put it and um, it reflects nicely in the light so it's, uh, can you see that? it's an hourglass um, ambient lighting powder and it's luminous light so this is going to last me for years and years and years, no doubt like everything else does, so it's not too bad, but it, it is overpriced. They do smaller ones for travel, and they would last a super long time as well, so they're a lot cheaper if you did want to try it, or if you look online for um, something that's similar to that, there will definitely be. Okay, so I just pop it on my forehead there, at the top of my cheeks. And chin and nose. And it's probably not something you can tell on the camera just now, but it does show up nicely on the lights when I'm filming. And since I've been using this and the other thing, the Hollywood uh, Flawless Filter underneath, I've had lots of comments about my skin looking good, so I think that's probably it. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. Okay. It comes in different colours as well for different lighting. So there we are. Once I've finished my face, I'll then pop my hair back down again. And I love these little clips here. These claw clips, they're so good. Bring it round a little. Tidy it up. There we are. And that's my makeup look. Look ready for filming or going out or whatever it is. And um, if it was a daytime makeup, then I'd probably do the same thing on my eyes and lips and eyebrows but I'd use a lighter foundation, maybe a tinted moisturiser or something like that and um, just less blusher and less of the brown um, contour, if at all. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed hanging around in here in this a nice bright room lets in all the sounds and thankfully there's no one doing a, a lawn or not too many dogs barking earlier today there was someone had a bonfire and they were making loud sounds and there was someone um, with a chainsaw and someone with a hedge cutter <laughs> so we've just uh, filmed this at the right singing and you can hardly hear any cars or anything. It's like
it's raining, I'll film in here again as well. Okay. So you take care, and I hope you enjoyed the sounds and hanging out together. Lots of love. Sweet dreams. And good night from me. <laughs>